Hi, welcome to Wellness. I'm your host, Linda Lonigan, Senior Clinical Nutritionist. I am here to show you the very best your community has to offer in health, fitness, well-being, amazing events, and wonderful people. I'm joined today by the lovely Carolyn Moss, who is the Health and Wellness Director um, for many, many years. Tell me, how did it all begin, well, Carolyn? I, I think when I was in college, everybody thinks they're healthy, and um, I took my one and only flu shot ever in my life, and I ended up with terrible asthma at the age of 21. So I learned very young that your health is the most important thing in your life, no matter what you can do or what you right. want to achieve or how much money you make. If you don't have your health, right. you've got nothing. Right. So this led me on a journey of trying to to get healthier again. Right. And um, I am a te retired teacher. I was te I taught for over 30 years. A substitute teacher came in one day and uh, told me about these cleaning products that were uh, chemical, no, no toxins, no chemicals, and it helped your lungs. And I was like, tell me, I need to know more. And that led me on this journey of we can really take control mm -hmm. of our health. Mm -hmm. We we basically need to get educated on all these things that are out there right. that can harm us and all the things that are out there that can really help us. Right. And right. Um, nobody loves you like yourself, so you've got to take control of your own health. Right. So it led me on this journey. And um, right. thanks to that substitute teacher in 1994, right. it led me to this journey. Now I'm a retired teacher, and I treat um, sharing health with people through my business because they need to get educated. So I'm a teacher. Right. I don't sell them. I educate them. I give them options. And I love working with people. Just love it. And it's changed a lot of people's lives, including my own and my own families. You bet. Yeah. You bet. Yeah. And you do, you do it so well. Oh, and thanks. you have a wonderful way of educating and, and um, helping people to be informed uh, in so many different arenas. Thank you. In, in so many you know, I ways. think you, I became a teacher because you want to make a difference in the world. Sure. Right. So sure. now I can do it you know, person to person, right. one person at a time. And I give them information. And I, I think, you know, information is the gift. If you have information you and you can really learn from what I share with you right. and experience it yourself, I, I want everybody to be healthier. Right. You know, it was, um, Dr. Shackley would always say, uh, everybody dies somewhere. Sometime, nobody knows when. Right. So I look at every day as a, gift every day you have to take advantage of that day right. don't waste it be positive live it to the fullest it may be your last right and one day you'll all die but you might as well when you're gonna die whether you're dying at 50 70 90 or 102 sure. you want to be healthy you bet so uh you want optimal life until it's over yeah so that's my goal for people like as you age i use this example all the time when i do presentations for people um treat your body like a car your car is you see the light you want to take care of it right away. You worry about your car. If you don't get, take care of your car, it becomes a jalopy. If you take care of your car, it becomes a classic. Right. So I tell everybody, this is your body. Why don't you become a classic? I like that. That's a very, <laughs> that's, that's that, a very good it's a uh, simplified you know, view of us taking care of ourselves. That's a very good analogy. Yeah. It really is. Mm -hmm. um, I had a gentleman in, um, who works as a plumber mm -hmm. and uh, he has very bad, um, as an RD and work in my office mm -hmm. is very bad cardiovascular, heart disease, cholesterol. And I said to him, I said, you know, if you put cement down your pipes and then you put lard down your pipes, mm -hmm. what would happen? He's like, what are you crazy? <laughs> yeah. And I was like, well, that's what's happening. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's very important to look for these basic comparisons. Right. But you work in so many different arenas you, you, and you, you shared with me about in terms of health and wellness, we have mm -hmm. to look in so much exposure coming to us simultaneously. But mm -hmm. you mentioned something about your grandson with a pool. Oh, um, I tell everybody what's around us, yeah. what goes on our skin, and what goes in us right. all affects our health. Right. So um, I tell people not to um, clean, wash the clothes with, with chlorine. Clorox, well, not a name brand, but chlorine in general is really harmful. It has so many very serious health issues. So you have a pool in your backyard. How can you have... Well, now I'm talking about my grandson, but everybody, how can you have kids swimming in chlorine all day? Here I'm telling you not to wash your clothes in chlorine, but then go jump in a pool with chlorine? Doesn't right. make sense to me. Right. So, um, you can, you can use natural salts and, uh, different, there are a lot out now. It used to be like, who would want? 
to do it. Now it's becoming more and more common the right. more you learn about the dangers of the chlorine. Right. Um, so my daughter was putting a pool in her backyard. I said, no way, Jack is not jumping in chlorine every day. Right. So you had to find a filter that you could put that extra filter in to, to not do it with chlorine. So that's that's what the, that's that's what goes on your skin. Anything that goes on your skin, right. that's why patches work, goes into your bloodstream. Right. And Americans don't have a clue of how many things bombard them that affect their health. You're correct. Right. It's you're your, correct. Your, your, your you know this more than yeah. anybody. Your toxic overload. You you, you're bringing it all in. It's stored in your fat tissue. It's stored there, and you're fine. Like right. you don't notice. Like I breathe something bad or what? It's just kind of getting stored and stored and stored. But everybody has a different toxic right. uh, load that right. when it hits them, right. then it's like you're almost to the point of no return. You right. really get sick. Right. It could happen to a three-year-old who lives in a house where somebody smokes right? and somebody else could be 92 years old and smoke every right. day of their life. Their toxic load was different than that child's, You're absolutely but we correct. never know where a toxic load is. That's right. So whatever we can do, instead of playing Russian roulette with that, try to minimize everything that's coming into your body and what mm -hmm. you put on your skin. And, you know, people do so many things with skincare and personal care and scents and everything. Okay, you might look good now, but what did it put into your bloodstream that could be affecting you later? And people have to look at that because, mm -hmm. uh, it, you know, people say, oh, you hit 40, everything breaks down. Oh, 50. That doesn't, it shouldn't be. If you take care of your, your health, you will age gracefully. You, you know, yes, you slow down. Yes, it's harder for me to get up and down with my knees now. You know, I mean, I mean, I'm, you know, it's, but it's not affecting my life. Right. Where people go, oh, you know, that you're, you know, you're 60, your life shuts down. No way. Amazing. You know, you've got your next 30 years you to go. You walk the walk and talk the talk, uh, Carolyn. <laughs> well, I do. I do. And I believe you everybody do. could. Yeah. You know, reading labels. Absolutely. Oh my God. Yeah. My kids, they're in their thirties. They read labels. Like you had Brian with sure. his, with um, his restaurant. With he buys really show. good yeah. quality stuff because that, that kid's been reading labels since, obvious. you know, for over 20 years now. Everything is, well, right. look what's in the label before yes. you buy it. Yes. Because labels are very deceiving. They are. You know, all they natural are. doesn't mean it's all natural. You know, no, it's you like, shared something with me very interesting I'd like you to share with my viewers mm -hmm. about the organic food, which you were discussing. Oh, you know, that's... That, with organic, the glyphosates yep, that yep. are coming into play? If you... um, I do buy organic, so I'm right. not telling people not to buy organic. No, 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 no. So you have to buy organic, but you have to be, but aware. It's, you have to be very aware because... Right. Uh, we, we get a farm share, mm -hmm. um, and it, you know, for the weather that we have, you know, from now until November, we'll get this farm share. And they grow it on their biodynamic farm, and they cut it down that day, and they give it to us that day. And literally, it will wilt if you don't eat it because it is not sprayed with anything. It is not, but you buy organic in the supermarket. Why does that lettuce still last over a week in your refrigerator? Because they can put organic on it because they've grown it in organic soil. But then they spray stuff on it. Um, one of the ingredients in um, a so desiccant, very serious. Right? Yes, desiccant. yes, that's it. Um, right. They spray that to dry it faster. So meanwhile, it was organic, but then they're spraying it because it still has to be harvested and make the trip across the country in a truck or whatever, and then go sit in the supermarket and then get into your refrigerator. So organic is kind of used and abused now. Right. And people think, oh, it's organic. I'm fine with that. They have right. to really research. I tell people all the time, research whatever company. Right. Um, you know, wellness companies are like, right. I want to say like a dime a dozen. Everybody sure. comes out with a new sure. breakthrough product or whatever. Absolutely. Research the company. Mm -hmm. Research their science. Research how they, they, they source something. Right. And how they test. Because don't blindly trust people. Unfortunately, no. that's not the way the world now. It's if they can make money on it, they're going to sell something. And, and people look at the label fast and go, oh, it looks good. Really research. You're the only one who cares enough about yourself to do all that research. Yeah. And you have to do it. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I say that we have one body. We wear it every day. So we better cherish it like a temple. And I, and I say, you know, you have one body. Right. And if you mess that up, where else are you going to live? That's no, it. That's, that's what I tell people. It was a quote from somebody oh, Carol, that I've kind amazing. of like shortened somehow, but <laughs> it made amazing. sense to me. It's true. It's, it's, Absol it's uh, the one body you've and, got. And, and your skin is gorgeous. And oh, I had the thanks. privilege of taking part in one of your healthy, oh, my, my table for six. wonderful mm -hmm. facials, mm -hmm. which I felt oh, was all you. natural, clean. Yep. And there was definitely a difference. Yeah. You know what? That's what I mean. You're, you're in so many I, different I tell ways. people, you can use a lot of products that are going to look great on your skin mm -hmm. and they're going to make you look young and going to bring down your puffiness. And gonna just, you'll get that um, immediate result. Sure. But if you can do it with a product that 
everything that goes into your system now is not, there's no chemicals, no toxins right. to go into your system. Think of for the, your future health, not just how you look today, right. you know? And, um, right. I think people are, some people really get it. And I'm, some people just are like, no, I buy this name. And I love when people say they wouldn't sell it if it was dangerous. And I'm like, really? <laughs> are you kidding? They, they unfortunately do put a lot out there that's not really safe. No. And if they can make safe. money on, and a lot of things get pulled off the market. Yes, they do. After they find out how dangerous they are. Right. So why didn't those companies do the research before they ever put it on? And maybe yeah. they did do the research, but the almighty dollar came first. That should never happen. And it, and, and it, it does. does. Look it what does. happened. Look what happened with margarine. It was banned from many mm, countries yeah. from even production. You know, and it's still on the shelf. A funny story about it's margarine. Funny. It's not really a funny story, but. I was a kid watching Merv Griffin after school. My father had it on, and I was watching it, and there were two doctors on it. Margarine just became the rage. And um, the, the question was, well, would you use margarine or butter? And the doctor said, well, if you want heart disease, butter. If you want cancer, margarine. And I was a young kid, and I was like, great alternatives there, <laughs> but I'm going to go with the butter. You know, like it, it was just it was, as real as possible. Yeah. In you know, moderation. Yeah. Everything in, right. you know, you have to eat everything in moderation. You bet. That's what we really talk about. Right. Eating healthy, right. um, exercising, positive thinking. Right. Um, people live healthier lives, not just because of take my supplements and they're going to, you know, oh, they're the magic pill. No, you, you want to supplement what you, you need to because your foods don't have what you need, you exactly. know that from as a dietitian. Sure. It, sure. It, you just have so many gaps in your health. Right. So you need to supplement. So supplement right. with something that really is going to nourish you. Right. But you also have to have um, fellowship, faith, um, have a social life, be sure. positive, and you live a long, healthy life. Right. Drink lots of water. Right. Make sure it's pure, purified water. Right. There's so many things you can do that you are can. really easy. Like you should be part of your lifestyle you every bet. day. Like yeah. uh, being thankful and gratitude every day. Yeah. And being That's the best what you can need. Be. Gratitude is the key every day. Yes. And every day is a gift. So what are you going to do with it? You you are amazing oh, and thanks. wonderful. And you, you work it. in so many arenas in the community. And you help so many people. And uh, oh, thank it's you. just a pleasure. Yeah. The the, to have you on and, and just share with my with my viewers. Oh, thanks. Um, we have about two minutes to wrap up. Is okay. there anything last you would like to share with my viewers that you think is, is very important? I think the biggest thing I tell people all the time, and I might have started with this, is no matter what you have in life, if you don't have your health, it's not going to do any good. You could have so much money in the bank. People work so hard. Stress is one of the worst things for us. Enjoy your life. Relax. Enjoy your friends. Take care of yourself because without your health, health it doesn't matter how long you live. You know, America's full of nursing homes with very sick people who live to be 100. Who wants to live to be 100 if you can't enjoy your life, you know? So I think it's put health as a priority. People don't, you know? Um, it's very and I, I think that's the most it important is. thing. And start your kids when they're young yeah. to be healthy because yeah. our generations need to really keep those young generations right. knowing that they are the future and yeah. we want them to live long, healthy lives. That's wonderful. That's Thank you so much, Carolyn. Oh, it was Carolyn, a pleasure. We had so here. many conversations. I love talking with you. have to come back. Oh, thanks. You were just a, pleasure. A, a wonderful source of healthness and uh, health and wellness. Thanks. And I, I can't appreciate thank you it. for being here. Thank thanks. you. So remember when you eat well and select great foods and feel well, and like Carolyn says, to keep a stress free life and really respect your body. Uh, balance and moderation is key. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to my lovely crew. Have a great night.